to know by us, and this is my full thoughts for the first teaser trailer for Solo, a Star Wars story. Yes, as you can see, I've already put a video up of the three trailers that took my eye on the Super Bowl, one of them being the small trailer for this one, and then they released this, the full trailer, the following day, so these are my full thoughts on it. It was good, it, you know, it was a solid trailer. Um, I'm a little bit mixed about it because it's not, definitely not one of the better Star Wars trailers I've seen. It's it's a it's a decent trailer. It kind of shows me what I want and what I need to see, really. But it's 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 got me excited. I mean, of course I'm excited. It's Star Wars. Anything Star Wars related, regardless of how good or fat bad the film will end up being, it'll always get me excited because the more Star Wars, the better for me. But it just it wasn't the the trailer that made me go holy shit. You know what I mean? It made me go. Cool, cool. That's that. That's Han Solo. That's Chewbacca. That's that's Lando. And I'm happy to to go into the cinema in May and see this film. So yeah, obviously you see Donald Glover as Lando, and he doesn't get any lines in the trailer, but you can just see with his smile and his smirk and everything that he's just going to be a cool character. You do see him controlling the Falcon at some point, so obviously that harks back to the fact that he used to own it before uh, Han did. So that's pretty cool. Amelia Clark is in here uh, as a character. I can't remember her bloody name now. But yeah, I, 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 to be honest, I didn't do enough research with the solo film to find out who was in it and who wasn't. And yeah, to find out that Amelia Clark, Daenerys is in it, I'm fine because I think she's a good actor and I think she's going to be, be really cool in the character that she's in. I mean, the thing about the, what you saw of Han Solo, the character, again, I can't remember the life of the actor's name that plays him, uh, but he got a lot of promise, so everybody's saying. Um, it didn't feel like it was an astounded trip when you see the character. It didn't feel like, oh my god, it's like a young hand. It felt like it was his own character, and I suppose that is a good thing. I, I want them to have a nice, healthy balance of realising that, yes, that is definitely young Han Solo, but also kind of having its own direction in it, because otherwise it ends up being some kind of parody to the character, and we don't want that. We want it to have its own direction and be able to grow in its own way, and there was glimmers in this trailer that made me think, yeah, that's hopefully the way they're going with it, but He's young, he's a different person, he's not going to be this battle-worn person that you've seen through the years and seen some shit and been through some stuff to the point he's got to this character where we see him in A New Hope. He's young, he's fresh, he's a little, maybe a little bit more cocky and arrogant than he was when we first see him in A New Hope. You don't know. So the fact that well, everything I saw in this, when he's going like doing the speeder and everything, and when he's turning going, oh, I thought we were in trouble. But, no, we're okay, we're cool. It still feels a bit Han solo but it also feels like it's his own thing at the same time, and I'm glad that they're hopefully going in that direction with it. As I said in the previous uh, video, it looks like he was about to enlist, or does enlist, in the Empire, but then soon gets uh, chucked away, and as he says in the trailer, because I had my own brain and I think in my own way, they didn't like that, so I was cast aside. And then also it looks like in this trailer that Woody Harrison's character, the dude I forgot in the last video, he looks like he's going to be the kind of mentor towards Han Solo and he's kind of bringing him into this team that they're building to take um, take on the Empire in some way. I don't know what they're going to do, whether it's going to be a run or something, or some kind of heist, I don't know. It, it, but it does look like they're going to be touching on the Kessel Run. You see the final bit where they use the Millennium Falcon uh, being chased by uh, TIE Fighters and then this tentacle-like beast thing comes up. I think that might be the Kessel Run. So. Yeah, I need to see the Kessel because I think that's kind of what we're expected to see in this film. It needs to be shown because it's alluded to a lot in the other films. So having it actually come to life in front of you, as long as it's done right, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an epic moment to actually finally see this, this Kessel Run come up on screen. Overall, guys, solid trailer. I'm happy. It made me excited. I'm looking forward to seeing the solo film, definitely. Other than the fact that it's coming in May rather than December, we don't have to wait that long for it, really. Um... But, you know, I'm still a little bit reserved because I've heard there's a lot of things that happen, jet director changes and script changes and all this kind of stuff, and they've reshot really a lot of stuff. But then again, that's happened with many things, like Rogue One, and that ended up being amazing. So I give it room to breathe. It's just that this trailer, it was fun, but it didn't get me super, super pumped up like the last Jedi trailers did or the Force Awakens trailers did, because they really got me going. This is kind of like, it got me excited because it's Star Wars, but not enough to be losing my shit over. I'm still a little bit reserved but I'm looking forward to it. So that's what I thought of the first teaser trailer for Solo, A Star Wars Story. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me in the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr. Just type in Nerdbytes anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.